Hello YouTube, today this is Delcor, and I'm going to show you how to install one of the most badass cinematic compilation sound packs for Mountain Blade Warband. You can use them on any module you want to use to, Mountain Gladius, uh, Native, whatever. Forget about it. You can do whatever you want to do, but let's go ahead and show you how you do this. So here's what you're going to want to do. Go to Internet Explorer, go to Tail Worlds Forms. Go to forums on the far left, and I'll show you what you're gonna go. So, the link will be in the description, but if you wanna take a little longer and just be lazy and don't click the link in the description, here it is. Tail Lords Forms, then go to Mountain Blade Warband, then go to the Karen Vincio, however the hell you say it, released Warband mods. And you go to B Cinematic Compilation Graphic and Sound Enhancement Version 3.0 Released Version 1.153. Okay, that's out of the way. You're gonna have to download it. So let's go. Just click the link, and it'll start downloading. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna go ahead and download it again because I don't want to waste more bandwidth and more internet space. No, I'm sorry, more hard drive space. Or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> um, so you have it. You have it where you installed. In this case, I put it on my desktop, and we're gonna have to follow the directions on how to, uh, you know, extract this. So here's what we're gonna need to do: open it up, cinematic compilation 3.0. Um, then you're gonna wanna go to extract to. Let's start following the directions. Installation. Click it. Unzip all the files to wherever your modules, wherever you want to do it for. So, please watch carefully. You're going to want to find it in um, your Mountain Blade Warband folder. So, I'll demonstrate. Here's your Mountain Blade Warband folder. Do not, I repeat, do not jump to the module. Don't. Go to Mountain Blade Warband first. Go to module. Then go to you want to do it for. I want to do it for Mountain Gladius 2.3, so that's where I'm going to go. Alright, so. Let's go back to the direction. We found our modules, we found the module, and I'm going to extract it to the module, just as you will extract it to whoever you want to extract it. I want to do it to Mountain Gladys 2.3, so that's what I'm going to do. Just do yes to all. And while we're waiting for this... Dicks. Yeah. Dicks. Um, th th that's all I want to say for this period of time while this is being processed. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> right, that was uncalled for. <laughs> no, th that's got, that message always pops up. Anyway, so, you did step one, you extracted it. Step two, open module.ini in your module folder. So, let's go to the module folder. Hooray! Here we are. Now you're in the module folder and you're in the module you want to do. So, like it said, locate module Diana. I and I. Module Diana. Right here, I and I. Okay, so here's where it gets a little complicated. Apparently, this is a little older, so some things might be outdated, but it still works. Don't panic. So, you want to do scan module sounds. So, copy it. Then, control V. I'm sorry, I didn't say how I did it. What you want to do is you want to copy it. You just simply do 
Highlight it all and control C. That's copy. Then to locate something in Notepad, click Control F. Oh, I hit I hit the wrong one. My bad. All right. So. If you didn't make a mistake like me, because me being a dumbass, you want to hit Control F and then Control V. All right. So now you have it, and basically, as you can see, scan modules sounds equals zero to scan module sounds equals. We don't need to change it because it's already been done for us. So. Don't worry about it now. We've already established this and it doesn't need to be changed so you don't have to touch it. Next, erase lines. Grass meshes. Grass mesh grass underscore meshes B is not there, so you do not need to worry about it. Erase. And like I said, it won't be here. But let's go ahead and. I rest my case. Next. Still gonna work, don't worry. So. Now what you want to do is under load underscore resource equal whatever, copy paste it. I'm sorry, don't copy, just copy it. Oh, you want to erase the uh, apostrophes. My bad for not mentioning that. Tried to do that, but whatever. What did I... There we go. Alright. So, once you erase the apostrophes, you'll see load underscore resource equals town eat. Alright. So you found it. Whoa. Next. Go down. And it says, under, add the following. Copy paste all of them. Yeah, as you can see, it's right over here. That's how it says. And simply hit Control V. Alright, now, realistic missile objects, fa uh, objects which we do want, um, just go to file, let's see, open item text 1, I'm sorry, oh, item kinds 1, I'm telling you guys, I'm losing my head today. So, change it from, let's see, flying error, so let's see. Find flying missile with control F. We found it. If the item key is an arrow, change flying arrow to missile. Um, so that's already done. From missile to flying arrow. So we find arrow, then we make it flying arrow. If the item kind is bolt, change it from flying missile to flying bolt. And we'll do that. Here's arrow. Here's bolt. Simply press save, and that should be it.